Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to class. Today we're going to work on our hips. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified when a new video is available. So, as we proceed, let's lie on our back and catch the right shin with your fingers interlocked around the shin. Draw your knee towards your chest. If the knee doesn't like flexing so much, you can catch behind the thigh. But either way, we are asking the hip to flex deeply by bringing the thigh closer to the ribs and the knee closer to the chest. Maintain the grip with the right hand and take the leg out to the side so there's some external rotation. Come back to the midline and again take the right leg out to the side. So you're asking the leg to externally rotate. Back to centre. See if you can keep your pelvis level one more time to the right side back to center and replace the right foot to the floor. Let's repeat now with the left leg. So catch the shin, interlock the fingers around the left shin unless your knee does not like that deep flexion, in which case you hold behind the thigh. But again, we're drawing the thigh close to the ribs and the knee close to the chest. The right leg's remaining bent, foot on the floor. So as we're drawing this left hip into flexion, you feel your lower back on the floor, keep your shoulders on the floor, watch it, you're not letting the shoulders lift up. And now let's take the leg out to the side. So restraining this right side of the pelvis back to the right as the left thigh externally rotates and then come back to center and again leg out to the side, externally rotating the right thigh bone in the socket, in that hip joint, back to centre, and one more time, left leg out to the side, restraining the right side of the pelvis back to the right, and then back to centre, and replace the left foot to the floor. Now, let's bring this right knee back up to the chest, Move the leg into that externally rotated position. You see now I'm catching the left ankle, sorry, right ankle with my left hand, and I'm turning the thigh out to place the right ankle over the left thigh. So I'm in a simple cross leg position with the right leg. Then I'm going to draw this left leg towards me so I can catch behind the thigh, behind that left thigh, and bring both legs towards me. But now I can use my right elbow and press it against the inner right leg to encourage that right thigh to turn out in the socket. Right thigh bone externally rotating. The right leg's in a simple cross leg position. Can you lengthen now through the inner right foot? So the ball of the big toe lengthens away from the inner knee. The inner heel lengthens away from the inner knee. And release, lower the left leg, lower the right leg. Let's do with the other side. So catch the knee, draw the leg up into it's hip flexion, start to externally rotate the leg, so now your right hand's catching the left ankle, externally rotate the thigh bone in the joint, in that hip joint, cross your ankle, so left ankle on the right thigh. The left leg is in a simple cross leg position. Then draw the right foot up off the floor, clasp the fingers behind the thigh and move the leg towards you. Now, if it is difficult to reach and clasp behind the thigh, you could use a strap behind this thigh and hold on to your strap. But can you get that left elbow to dig into your inner left thigh and press the leg away from the chest? 
shoulder tips down to the floor, collarbones broad, back of the neck long. And as you're maintaining this position, can you lengthen the inner right foot, both that ball of the big toe, the inner heel, away from the inner knee. So there's no collapse in the foot or the ankle. And release, lower the right foot and left foot back to the floor. Let's pause, relax the legs, relax the arms. Roll to the side, come to sit, and we're going to do some of that work seated. So let's take a blanket. We'll use a blanket to sit on. If your hips feel particularly tight, use more than one blanket. Use a good amount of height to sit on. Perhaps you've got two blankets. Perhaps you've got a bolster under the hips. But we're sitting, legs out in front, feet a little wider than hip width apart, as we work to establish our simple cross leg position. Cross your left ankle under the right knee, so the sole of the foot's visible on the outside edge of that right knee. Then right foot across to the left knee and you'll note the feet are a fair distance from me. I'm not pulling the feet in underneath the thighs. I'm keeping the shins out parallel to the chest and the feet are almost at a right angle to the shin bones. So again I'm lengthening through the inner foot, both feet, ball of the big toe, inner heel, lengthen away from the inner knee. Let's stretch the arms up, interlock the fingers. Inhale, take your arms up, squeeze the elbow tips in so the arms are straight, lift up through the sides of the trunk, rib cage lifting away from the pelvis, so you feel your waist lengthen and thin. Exhale, take the arms out and down and we'll come forward onto the fingertips. Now if there is a resistance in the hips to coming forward, you're feeling particularly stiff, you can put your blocks underneath your hands so that it's an easier reach. Even if you've got the flexibility to go further forward, pause at this stage and lengthen the breastbone forward away from the navel. So we're keeping length in the front body, we're not collapsing the chest. Then if you can go further, start to walk your hands forward. You come into a forward bend over your cross legs and just make sure that your feet are not slipping in underneath the knees and then the buttocks lifting up. We want to keep the buttocks, the sitting bones anchored on our support, equal weight through left and right sitting bones. So as we sustain this forward bend, pay attention to the sensations in the body. So we might feel a significant stretch, but we might also notice that there is some tension or holding or resistance. Can you notice those areas? Is it in the shoulder, neck area? Is it in the groins, the inner thighs? Can you let go any areas of resistance but maintain the integrity of the pose? Smooth, steady breathing. Now, raise the head up walk in a little bit. We're still in a forward bend, but can we take the hands over to the right side? So now we're turning the chest, there's a slight twist involved, and you walk forward over that right leg. So now we're sweeping this left side chest, the area we call the armpit chest, around towards your inner right leg. Forward bending over the right leg, and as you press into the hands, Use that pressure to help keep this left buttock down. Walk the hands in. We stay in a slight forward bend as we come back through the center. Walk your hands across to the right side. So now this right armpit chest is turning around towards 
the inner left leg and walk your hands forward. So as you come forward, keep the hands shoulder width apart and go on sweeping the right side chest, the right armpit chest around towards the inner left leg. As you press into the hands, use the pressure in your hands to help move the right hip back and down, right buttock down. Raise the head up, walk in, come back through the center, one last forward bend with our right shin in front. Relax the, the hips, inner thighs, upper thighs, outer thighs, buttocks. Raise the head up, walk your hands in, come to sit up and stretch the legs forward. So we pause with the legs stretching forward, bring the inner legs together. And then we move on to bringing the opposite shin in front. So again, take your legs apart, just a little wider than hip width. Now bring your right ankle underneath the left knee so you can see the sole of the foot on the outside edge of the knee and left foot across to the right knee. And again, the shins are out in front of us the feet are not pulling underneath the thighs. Creating a right angle between the feet and the shins by pressing through the inner feet. The balls of the big toes pressing away from the inner knees. Sit tall and we'll stretch the arms up again. This time take the opposite index finger to interlock on top. Stretch the arms up, squeeze the elbow tips in and use the lift of the arms to enhance the elongation of the torso. Feel the rib cage lift away from the pelvis. Draw the top of the sacrum in, draw the lumbar spine in. Exhale the arms out and down, maintain the lift of the breastbone and come forward onto the fingertips. So breastbone lifted, still keeping length in that front body. Slowly start to walk your hands forward according to your capacity. Remember, if you feel stiff, you can have hands on blocks that uh, may make it feel more accessible. So as you walk forward, you allow the spine to come into flexion, but it's not a dramatic flexion. We want the predominant flexion to be in the hips. Still, the upper breastbone lengthens forward towards the hands. Back of the neck can lengthen outer shoulders roll down. So notice if the shoulders are hugging up into the neck. Can you release the shoulders away from the neck? Outer shoulders release down. Smooth, steady breathing. Hips relaxed, inner thighs relaxed, buttocks relaxed. Now slowly raise the head up, walk the hands in, stay in a semi forward bend and now walk your hands to the right side. So you're starting to twist a little to the right and as you walk your hands forward, can you sweep this left armpit chest around towards the inner right leg. Keep working the outer left hip and buttock down to the floor. And as you sustain the pose, remember you're breathing smoothly. Smooth, steady inhalation, smooth, steady exhalation. Raise the head up, walk your hands in, come through the midline, still in a semi forward bend, then walk your hands across to the left side. And so again, we want to move this left, uh, right side chest around towards the inner leg inner left leg as you walk forward. So you're in a sideways forward bend. Right armpit chest sweeping around towards the inner left thigh. The back of the neck can lengthen, outer shoulders roll down. Press into the hands, descend the right buttock. Smooth, steady breathing. Raise the head up, walk the hands in, 
come back through the midline, one last forward bend here, stretch the arms forward, again outer shoulders down, relax the hips, the thighs, the groins, steady the breath. Raise the head up, walk the hands in, come to sit up and stretch your legs forward. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me.